can't do it, man. I don't like the taste of it. Good morning, guys. I'm about to head to the gym. And I am so tired. I didn't want to get up this morning. And oh my gosh, my entire body hurts so bad. I don't even, I don't know how I'm here right now, but. Just finished at the gym and I'm heading home now and I'm very gross and sweaty. I just did five minutes on the treadmill on an incline at 6.2 miles per hour. So I was booking it and I actually love ending my workouts with cardio because I walk out of the gym just feeling like a badass. I'm like out of breath, sweaty, and I don't know, it makes me feel good. Okay, I'm back home and I'm about to make my chia seed pudding for breakfast. And obviously I made this last night because you have to make it the night before, but I am gonna tell you guys how to make it and then what I do to prepare it before I eat it because honestly, that's what makes it so good. But the recipe itself is two tablespoons of chia seeds and then I do half a cup of coconut milk and then one tablespoon of maple syrup. And that's it to get this and then I just scoop it into here. But what makes it so freaking good is that I mix in a coconut Greek yogurt. This is by the Too Good brand so it only has two grams of sugar. I stir this all in and it makes it so creamy. It tastes like coconut pudding or something. You definitely have to be a coconut person. But I love coconut which is why I do coconut milk and a coconut yogurt. But you could totally do like almond milk and then like a berry yogurt or something if you're not into coconut but it is amazing. And then I add fresh granola and blueberries on top. So here is the final product by adding in that yogurt. It just like makes the chia seed pudding less runny, more fluffy, more creamy. It is so amazing. So this has been like my favorite breakfast. <laughs>
Okay, I am showered, shaved, exfoliated, blow dried my hair, and I'm actually gonna go get a spray tan, which is why I am wearing my loose fitting clothes. These sweatpants are so freaking comfortable. I'll try to link them for you guys. I found these when I went to Target last week, and I just really liked the color, but they honestly are so comfortable. And they even have pockets. And then I'm also just wearing this tank from Amazon, and I'm not wearing a bra, because we're going to spray. No makeup on, and I look super pale, so. Love that. Can't wait to be tan again and it's President's Day so I'm basically treating today like a holiday and I'm not really going to focus so much on working. I'm gonna do stuff around the house. I have laundry going and I just wanna go get a spray tan but I wanted to do it now so that in six hours I can rinse it off this evening instead of sleeping in it overnight. Okay, I just got to the tanning salon. I'm gonna go in and get my spray tan. I hate seeing myself with no tanner on. I feel like I just look so insanely pale. I should really put the viewfinder down so I don't have to look at myself. <laughs> I know I'm being over dramatic, but I really feel so much more confident when I'm tan. It's crazy. So I'm gonna go get my spray tan really quick and then um, we're gonna go to Starbucks because it's right next door. I'm gonna try a new drink, a nice low calorie beverage. I'm excited. Just finished my spray tan and I'm in the Starbucks drive through now. I'm trying something new and I'm very excited. It's still like a healthy low calorie drink, but something that I haven't tried before. Also, if anyone cares, I probably don't look tan right now because I do the level one clear. So it's like the lowest one and I do the clear version version so it takes several hours before you start to see it show up but I find that it looks more natural than the bronze one but some people say the opposite some people say like the instant bronze one looks more natural but I don't know I guess it's just preference and it reacts with some people's skin differently but I always like the clear one better okay I just grabbed my coffee how freaking delicious does this look I already took a sip it does taste really good but I definitely need to mix it up because the cold foam is just sitting on top so I feel like that's all I can taste so I'm gonna stir it up but I want to show you guys I just got a grande cold brew with two pumps of hazelnut syrup two pumps sugar-free vanilla and some cold foam so it's basically half sweetened and then the other half is the sugar-free and then I just added cold foam on top so it's not the sweet cold foam um, just the regular cold foam which is unsweetened and yeah I found it from the macro barista on Instagram and then for my lunch because we haven't gone grocery shopping yet I just got the grilled chicken and hummus box I love these they're so freaking good and they're 300 calories but it's got just like grilled chicken edamame carrots hummus and then these little pita breads and it's just such a nice like healthy little lunch combo when I know that I don't have anything at home. So if I just go straight home, I'd probably end up eating a bowl of cereal. So glad I got this. My Gymshark order just came in, so I thought I would show you guys what I got. I just picked up a few more basics because I've been working out now more than ever, so I didn't realize how quickly I go through my gym clothes and then they're dirty, and I just feel like I needed more basics. So I went ahead and got these. These are like the Gymshark Vital Seamless um, biker shorts, but these are like the original shorter ones, not the four inch. So I'm very excited about these. And then I got another pair of Vital Seamless leggings. These are just the uh, black marl ones and I wear a size small if anyone cares. I used to wear the extra small and then I tried the small in the ombre ones that I have and I just liked the way they fit me better. They're not quite as compressive. So I love these, super comfortable, got a second pair. And then I have this Pipa training pullover thing in white and I loved it so much, I decided to get it in black as well. It's just a really comfortable like cotton soft pullover and it has a big pocket here in the front kind of like a hoodie does and then it like cinches around the like waistband part and it's like slightly cropped. So very comfortable to wear to the gym in the morning. So, you know, lots of black. I have just a neutral girl. Anytime I introduce color into my wardrobe when it comes to gym stuff anyway, I just like don't wear it as much. I'm so much more likely to wear black, white, gray, just neutrals. Chad just got out of work and I somehow convinced him to grocery shop so I don't have to go out. So glad, I really didn't wanna go. I was honestly probably gonna end up Instacarting. And in the meantime, while I'm waiting for him to get home, I'm gonna show you guys how to make these peanut butter banana muffins. They are very healthy 
and also very tasty and perfect if you have leftover bananas. That's actually how I discovered the recipe is because Chad and I always have leftover bananas that I don't know what to do with. They just go bad so fast. So if we don't eat them quick enough, then I feel like I end up wasting them, but you need ripe bananas for this. So it's perfect. So here are the ingredients that you're gonna need if you wanna make this. Um, you need three ripe bananas. So as you can see, these are like perfect, super ripe. They're gonna be easy to mash up. And then I have the mini chocolate chips and you're gonna need, these are muffins obviously. So you need some little muffin tins. Um, and then two eggs, maple syrup, cinnamon, vanilla extract, salt, peanut butter, some kind of flour. You can use regular flour, but if you wanna make it a little healthier, you can use coconut flour, oat flour, something like that and then coconut milk or any other um, milk if you want to. And you also wanna preheat your oven at 350 degrees and then I'm just gonna line my muffin tin. Chad just got home from grocery shopping. He's still bringing stuff in. And I just saw that he found 3D Doritos. I knew that these were coming back because I saw it on a commercial during the Super Bowl. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. Doritos is like one of my favorite snacks, but obviously I can't eat stuff like this anymore. But we will make an exception because these are 3D freaking Doritos. Pulled the muffins out and I'm just letting them cool down now. So here's kind of what they look like. You just want to stick a toothpick in them. Make sure it comes out clean. But here's what they look like. Good morning guys, it's 6 a.m. and I am about to head to the gym, 6.08. Wow, I actually have a meeting this morning with my CPA so I had to work out earlier than usual to give myself enough time to come back and get ready before I go. But yeah, we're going to the gym very early this morning but I thought I would show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing this new little pullover that I got from Gymshark. I really like it, it's so comfortable. And then underneath that I'm wearing the Lululemon Invigorate Sports Bra. And then these are the Ombre Vital Seamless Leggings from Gymshark, and then my Adidas NMDRs. Being here before 6.30 a.m. is not my cup of tea, but gotta do what you gotta do. And I would so much rather work out in the morning than later in the day.
just finished my workout and while I was in there I got a text from my CPA saying that her granddaughter is going to be born today so she had to cancel our appointment which is totally fine I'm so excited for her um, if anything this just gives me more time today normally I wouldn't even have been getting to the gym until like 15 minutes ago or something and it's only 7 20 and I'm already done so that's perfect and instead of my fit shake today I decided to bring this one bar these are so good I honestly think I like these protein bars better than I like the Alani new fit snacks I think both the flavor and the texture are better in these just personal preference but the fit shakes are definitely my favorite type of protein shake if I want to shake but today I brought a bar I will say these do have more calories than the fit snacks, but they are so good Just got out of the shower and made my chia seed pudding and now I'm about to make a quick coffee And then I'm gonna do some work on my computer Much later now, obviously, I got dressed and did my makeup, and I'm about to start packing orders. I literally only have three orders to pack, so it'll be super quick and easy. And I also just started pre-editing this very vlog, and I realized that it's already 17 minutes long, so it's going to be a very long vlog, because I planned on vlogging the rest of today, too. Not that I have much to vlog. I don't really have too much going on, but it's going to be a long vlog. Let me know if you guys prefer the vlogs that are a little bit shorter and they're just one whole day or if you like when I combine two days because sometimes it just works out better that way because like I don't film an outro and it's just easier to just go into the next day and add it in but sometimes I'm like I wonder if it would be better to have more frequent uploads and just do to like make these two days a separate vlog I don't even know if I'm making sense but let me know if you have a preference on that. Just finished packing orders. I'm about to run up to the post office, but I wanted to show you guys these shorts that I just discovered from Amazon. They came in yesterday and I am just obsessed with them. I swear Amazon can be so hit or miss sometimes when it comes to like clothing, but these are actually really comfy, just cotton shorts. They have pockets, a waistband, and this is actually like a real tie, so you can tie it tighter if you want. And they're actually like a long length, so you don't have to worry about your butt hanging out. They're just so comfortable, like perfect for lounging around the house like I usually am. Well, at least when I'm working at home. <laughs> I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru now. I went to the post office, took all of the packages, and I'm trying another low-calorie Starbucks drink today, except this time I decided to do less syrup than what would normally come in a grande, but not sugar-free because I'll tell you in a second. Hey, I placed a mobile order. It's under the name Melissa. Yeah, you can come right through. Thank you. Thank you. Anyways, I decided against the sugar-free because every time I do the sugar-free, I drink my coffee, obviously, because I paid for it, but I don't really enjoy it because I hate the flavor of sugar-free. I do not like fake sweeteners. I just, it's something about the flavor. The only time that I don't mind it is in Diet Coke, but like any sugar-free stuff, I usually just do not like the taste of it. So I thought, why bother getting it if I'm not gonna enjoy it? Why pay four or five dollars for coffee just to have a few less calories and get it without the sugar when I could just get it with it and enjoy it more? So you guys know I'm a firm believer in not like restricting myself, which is why I love Jess Hutchins' program so much because she doesn't make us uh, restrict our diet or anything. So I just decided to go for it. This drink that I came up with is, I believe 120 calories, might be a little less actually, but definitely no more than 120 calories, which I think is fine for a medium iced coffee. So I'll show you guys in a second. So we're just gonna go ahead and park right here so I can show you guys what this drink is okay i have to go to costco and get gas because chad's gonna kill me if i don't so we're gonna do that after but this is a drink let me try it first see i knew this was gonna be good i knew it because first of all i didn't do sugar-free syrup this time yesterday i got that cold brew and yeah it was good i liked the cold foam in fact i probably could have done this with cold foam it would have been good i just don't like the taste of sugar for you guys and i'm just gonna come right out and say it i don't care if it's low calorie i don't care if it's what's trendy when you're trying to stay to a strict diet and watch what you're eating like i just can't freaking do it i 
can't do it, man. I don't like the taste of it. So anyways, this is what I got. It's um, just a grande iced coffee with two pumps of caramel, one pump of vanilla, no classic syrup, and light cream. So here's what it looks like, and it's delicious, and it's not sugar-free, and that's okay. I'm at Costco right now getting gas by myself, I might add. Chad would be so proud, but I'm not gonna sit here and act like I didn't complain about it because I hate getting gas. I just got to first watch, and I just did it to go order for lunch because I didn't know what to order, you guys. I just... I didn't know what to do for lunch. I didn't have anything at home. Chad and I had leftovers from the night before for dinner, so I don't have leftovers from dinner last night for today for lunch. Um, and that's kind of what I've been eating for lunch. Chad and I have not really bought anything um, at home to make for lunches. Like, I really need to do that though because then I would spend money less when I'm out doing my daily errands. Well, it's a little bit later now and I just fed the dogs. I'm about to heat up something for dinner. I don't even know what I'm having. Probably just a veggie burger or grilled chicken, something like that. Because Chad's on shift tonight, which means I am on my own for dinner. Anyways, I am going to end this here because this vlog is super long, probably the longest vlog ever. But thank you so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.